All right, so in your prop house here, and there's a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, let's first talk about the soil handling here and potting. Yeah, so this is our uh, potting station. It gives us a place to dump our potting soil, a table to uh, work, um, our seed trays. Um, this is a good spot to push our seed trays to the side and water before we put them in the germ chamber or on the tables. Um, we have this year moved to uh, wind strip trays. We have found that the wind strips are it's a big investment, but we have seen uh, a huge difference in the quality of transplants that we're able to uh, to put into the field. Um, they're great at uh, self pruning. The wind, the air pruning is great. Um, so if we miss our window for a few days, it gives us a lot more leeway with that, um, without jeopardizing quality in the starts. Okay, what size wood strips are these? So we use 72s and 128s. Um, 128s for smaller items and 72s is mostly what we use. But, um, we do our stallions and cilantro and parsley uh, in the, the 128s, but most everything else goes in the 72. Um, this is the, the biggest addition we had to our prop house was these two freezers that we've converted to germ chambers. Um, germinating your trays and trying to get 100% germination uh, with fluctuation in temperatures is very difficult. So uh, we have thermostats that work on crock pots. Uh, crock pots do humidity and temperature and then the freezer has its own cooling mechanisms with the Freon. So the thermostat switches back and forth between the heating of crock pot and the the, the cooling of the freezer to keep the constant temperature that you're requiring. So we could do lettuce um, in the summer, spinach in heat, uh, and then we actually use the heating of the crock pot to do our brassicas or early spring crops. This, uh, this keeps us from having to travel back and forth with trays to our cold storage um, in the summertime. We could do everything here in the prop house. Plus so, keep it at more exact temperature. Yes. Because the so, cold storage is going to be probably colder than you want. Right. So how many trays can you fit in one of these? Uh, we can get 16 trays on a single layer, or you can move the pipes around your trays, and you can stack up to 25 to 26 trays. Okay, and you only need them in there for a couple of days, so. Yes, depending on the crop, it's two to three days. So quite a bit of capacity in one of these. Yes. So can you tell me about the, uh, the heating and the cooling here? I know this tunnel does not have roll-up sides. No, we chose to go without roll-up sides. We uh, use passive ventilation so we have exhaust fans and path fan circulation fans. The circulation fans we leave running all the time to keep the air movement constant in here. It helps keep our uh, starts uh, dry, the leaves dry. Um, it also helps circulating heat. We have uh, heat in here. Uh, we cover it with 40% shade cloth uh, starting in May. And we leave that on until sometime in September uh, we take it off. Um, but yeah, so we get really good airflow moving through the greenhouse, and I think that is really key for someone wanting to have a prop house is to look into passive ventilation to exchange the inside air with fresh air from outside. So you got the louvers at the ends, and then these just these circulating fans. Yes, so the louvers are basically on one end, and the exhaust fans are on the opposite end. And the key of the exhaust fans is they're blowing air out of the house and drawing fresh air from the louvers all the way through the house so that in this home and what you really want is every minute you're constantly exchanging indoor air with outdoor air fresh air coming in maintain humidity too yes okay well, what about heat in the winter time i see you got a, a big heater so up yeah here. we run uh, uh propane heat um it allows us in the spring or in the winter to contain the temperature growth ne uh, temperature uh, necessary to get proper growth on our starts Okay. And is all this automated? Everything in here is automated. That's awesome. Uh, just one good tip for uh, people wanting to uh, build tables for their prop house. Um, we've seen so many farmers have poor success with wooden legs. Um, rodents, mice uh, easily can climb up wooden legs to get to your, your trays. Um, and rodents are notorious for eating seeds out of trays. So um, we utilized scraps left over from building greenhouses for metal legs for all of our tables so uh, the rats their claws can't get traction in the metal and you have no issues with that I think that would be really smart for people to uh, consider um, metal legs for their tables uh, in the prop house and these are all DIY you guys just put these together yes we built all this um, um, for ourselves we used uh, treated 
And then we bought these uh, plastic tops um, that you can find uh, online. Um, so none of our trays actually touch the treated wood, but uh, they should last us for a lifetime. Uh, just for the ease of watering, we put up a cable and uh, a pulley system for our water hose. Um, it really helps to keep the water hose up off the ground and it's easy to reach across the tables and water uh, all of our, our starts. Um, we think it's a, a great addition to the prop house um, to be able to keep your water hose up off the ground and to easily pull it along wherever you are in the uh, tunnel because um, you do spend right much time watering your starts. What a cool prop house. Uh, there's also quite a bit of room in here. It feels very comfortable to work in here. So great job setting this up. I, I know you guys probably really appreciate it. So thanks for sharing. Thank you. You're welcome.